retribution. Obama gets rid of Harry and Meghan at last throwing their Netflix deal out of the window. News that Meghan's plans for an animated series were reportedly ditched has been followed by speculation that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are planning a docu-series that follows their lives in LA. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's visions of commissioning worthy content with Netflix like the Obamas, has been thrown out of the window with news of a reported docu-series, a royal expert has claimed. Almost two years since the Duke and Duchess of Sussex signed up to their Netflix deal, fans are yet to receive any content on the platform from the couple. This hit a further setback when the actress plans for an animated series Pearl were allegedly scrapped amid cost-cutting at the streaming giants. More recently, Hollywood insiders have claimed that the couple have signed up to release a behind-the-scenes TV series documenting their lives in a fresh scheme for the platform. And, speaking on the Palace Confidential podcast, royal expert Richard Eden suggested that this new initiative would challenge the couple's aspirations of being like the Obamas, who have a production company working with Netflix. He said, Netflix really do want bang for their buck, I think that Harry and Meghan when they signed this multi-million pound deal with Netflix, envisaged themselves as like the Obamas who'd be commissioning these really worthy series. That's all been thrown out of the window. Netflix have ditched Pearl, the very worthy animated series about a teenage girl, inspired by Meghan, and instead they're going for what they think will sell, which is a program about the Sussexes themselves. This means, Richard suggested, that there will be constant debate within the Sussex household about what content to include in any potential docu-series, particularly surrounding the presence of their young children Archie and Lilibet. He added, they've always been keen to keep the children out of the public eye, but when they gave that interview to Oprah Winfrey, what did we see? We see Archie along the beach and we saw the first glimpses of family. So I'm sure Netflix, if they're paying that money, would expect to see the children as well. Last year, a report said, the Obama family is reportedly done dealing with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's constant attempts to copy what they do. This claim has been brought forward by royal expert Angela Levin and during her interview with The Sun she was quoted saying, Interestingly, the title is very similar to Barack's 60 by 60 birthday appeal, where supporters were invited to donate $60, or even $6, to a worthy cause. She also went on to add, It must be irritating for the Obamas to see Harry and Meghan copying much of what they do. The other problem is that the Obamas are also close to Prince William and his family. Who can forget that night in 2016 when they went to dinner with William and Catherine at their home and met Prince George, then three, who was in his dressing gown. I'm sure that if they say we can only deal with one brother and his wife, you cannot have both because they are so far apart now, they will go towards William. The Obamas clearly always regarded Harry highly but I am sure they can see through Meghan. It comes as Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's Netflix content has come under fire as a royal author has branded the couple's only greenlit offering for the platform as old news. Sally Ottens, co-author of Royal Fever, the British monarchy in consumer culture, claimed by the time the show comes out its content is old news. Ms. Ottens, a professor of marketing specializing in how the royal family brands themselves told Express.co.uk, you know, my big concern about this whole Netflix thing is, that the world has changed so much. The world has changed in that when you film all these things like the Invictus games, we've already seen it all on social media. Why do I want to watch the documentary in two months? I mean, it's old news.